Welcome to another Spread Cheetahs video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheetahs website. In this video, we're going to see how to merge two graphs in Excel. Graphs are great ways to visualize data, and Excel has a number of options available for creating and formatting charts. The type of chart you choose depends on the type of uh, data you have. As you can see in this example, I have two sets of data and have built two charts. But there may be a case where you think that it's better that the graphs are combined instead of having two separate graphs representing both sets of data on the same graph may be more meaningful so let's see how to do this i've selected one chart the sales chart i'll say Control c select the profit chart and say Control v so that automatically excel merges the charts and since the second uh, other chart i selected first was a line chart it changes the other one to a line chart as well so this is one way to merge graphs. Of course, it uh, goes without saying that they should have a common axis. Otherwise, it could be end up with a big mess and you won't get the desired result. So the second way to do it, I'm going to delete this, is to build a merge graph uh, to start with. So let's select this data. I'll go to Insert. Under Recommended Charts, I will choose a clustered column and say OK. So I've got one set of data. Now I want to add the sales as well. So for this, I select the chart. This brings up the chart design menu and click on select data. So this allows me to add another series. So I'll click add and the series name is sales. The values, I'll delete what is there. I'll select the rest of that column and say OK. And OK again. So now I have both sets of data. Now I may want to change the sales alone into a different type. So I select uh, the series, right click and say change series chart type. So this opens this box where it shows me the settings. That is the profit as a clustered column. Sales, I want to change it to a line chart. And then I'll say OK. So in this way, I have built a sort of a merged graph instead of copying and pasting or merging two separate graphs. This is how to merge two graphs in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.